hey guys welcome back to my vlog channel this is another gardening vlog all right so this is my irish potato and look how the irish potato looks after two weeks of planting in the planter bag so what i realized with the planter bag i don't know if it's the darkness or the coolness or whatever it provides to the plant but let me tell you something these grower bags are really really incredible so I planted two Irish potatoes. Is it two or three? I think it's two. Yeah. Um, they were growing Irish potatoes and I just had them in the cupboard and they, they started bursting some ice. And so I decided to plant them in the grow bags to see how, you know, how it comes out. So what I'm gonna do is add some additional dirt in the bag. Take it all the way up to the top because I realized the more dirt I add is the more the potato is growing taller and taller. Alright, and we want to get a lot of um, Irish potato from it. So, we're going to have to put some more dirt in there. Right, over here now we have turnip. This is turnip growing. It needs some water. I'm going to water it. I watered it last night with like the dirt just suck up all of the water. So I have to water it again. And over here we have strawberries. See the strawberry bursting up. A little strawberry bursting. And these are actually white strawberries. And over here, I don't remember what I planted in this one. You know? <laughs> to be honest, I don't remember if it's it said turnip or eggplants I cannot remember but I know in the middle there is a um, peach the peach has a sprouted as yet but I know it's in there alright um, in here as well we have strawberry and something else <laughs> I can't remember guys I think one of the reasons is that when I planted it, Scotty didn't know and he planted some other stuff in there. So it got a little mix up. But as they get bigger, we'll find out what exactly they are. Okay? And these are some mulberry. So let me show you my mulberry tree. These are actually very tasty when they're ripen. So at this stage, it's ripened. This stage it just began to ripe but they're very very tasty especially when you buy the plain yogurt and you put it in there oh my god trust me all right so here you can see some mulberries on the tree all right this is the mulberry let me pick this one right so i'm just picking and eating This one's very tall. So mulberries are very, very beneficial fruits to your health. They say they, they give you a lot of blood. Okay. So there's a lot. Mm. Some big mulberry here. Guys, these are very delicious. And you can look up there. Okay. We can see more mulberry up there. Mulberry coming here as well. A lot of mulberries on the tree. If you look in this section, look a section, you can see mulberries all over. Look at that. And it's growing all the way down. To the bottom look there that's the root that's mulberry growing look there that's mulberry mulberry here as well and hiding in this little spot we have some more mulberry coming up mulberry everywhere so i'm gonna pick these off they're also nice when you blend them just Blend them and have it just like that. 
just add a little honey and they're so tasty okay so i'm going to show you something else now guys all right so this is what they call jerusalem tea or rice tea and they're very 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 fine so some of these seeds i'm going to save to plant and of course the rest of them is going to cook and i give some to my mother my sister-in-law so the my mother says she has never had it and to be honest i have never had it and these are some oranges that they call ugly all right so i'm going to hold it in my hand just so you can see how big they are do you see that it's very big and when you open it it um you have to peel it like tangerine so these oranges they have pigs just like tangerines but they're even bigger very 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 bigger and they taste similar to tangerine it's kind of tangerine-ish orange-ish um what's that one grapefruit-ish taste <laughs> it has that kind of taste but they are called ugly i guess because they're so big and they don't really look pretty <laughs> And we have some bumpy banana here, but it's the first time I was tasting. I ate one of them yesterday, and it was the first time I was tasting this fruit called ugly. So it's very interesting. If you have ever seen the fruit or ever tasted the fruit, the fruit before, you know, comment in the comment section and let me know. Ugly, <laughs> and the Jerusalem is so um. Uh, Mr. Hamilton was telling me the best time of the year to plant these peas is in July. Uh, if you plant it any other time of the year, it doesn't really put out any peas. It don't really put out any peas. So, um, July I'm going to plant up some of these peas. Yeah. They also call these the Christmas peas because it, tem it tends to yield in the Christmas time. So you can see my hand it's stained from the mulberries so that's another thing about the mulberry it's very stained that's how you know it's really strong in antioxidants because it gives off this strong purple stained color all right and and here you can see my beautiful christmas plant this is called a poncieta <laughs> Yes, and somebody tell me not to move it out the pot because if I disturb it, it's going to turn green and I don't want it to turn green. So I'm leaving it in the pot until after the season change, then I plant it in the ground. Okay guys, so some of you who have been following me for a long time would have seen this area that I had some yams planted before. So we planted back some yams. And we actually put two two head in each hill. So Scotty is the one who planted up these yams. Mm -hmm. But they haven't started to, to grow any vines. They haven't started to run so we don't put the stickers yet. So we have yams coming all the way over here. And that little area that is left open. I'm supposed to be getting some more yams so we're going to fill up that area. So this is all yam, yellow yam. And if you remember my pineapples, these pineapples are planted from the head. They have yet to start growing any pineapples. But guess what? Yeah, I have become aware of what they call breeding. So I'm going to try to breed it and see what happens. Here's another one. Just growing big, big and tall and no pineapples. And there's one down there as well all right so as you can see i had yam in here before hence this yam you can see is running is wrapping itself around this cassava tree it has wrapped itself completely around the cassava tree so um this yam was here before as i said all right, so around and around this section here, we planted up some corns. And in this area, we're going to plant some 
purple cabbage and the Chinese cabbage. All right. Okay. Now let me show you something in my flowers garden. Uh, yeah. This is the sunflowers. The sunflower seed that I had planted, they are growing really fast. I guess they're getting the full energy from the sun and as they're called sunflowers they, you know the sun is what really push their growth so i am happy about my sunflowers and the sages that i had cut down they have started to spring up new flowers as i said i had to cut them down to set my garden the way i wanted to set it and here you can see this one is the one that is pretty more than any other um, sage. All right. Okay. Thank you guys for watching my vlog channel. Catch you in my next vlog. Remember to like, subscribe, and share.